Hey everybody, Jen here. Um, I decided to do a 10 day um, update on my pacemaker um, because I have a lot of people questioning, messaging me and asking me questions about it, um, asking me how I feel, like how are my symptoms, am I able to eat? Um, so I decided to do an all over, uh, pretty much answering the questions that was asked. Um, of my pacemaker surgery um, now I need to make sure that the disclaimer is out there every patient is different not everybody will get the same results um, these are my results these are my experiences of what you know my symptoms are and how I'm feeling and how I'm healing um, so please don't think that I'm telling you you have to feel this way um, or that you should feel this way. It's up to your body. It's up to how you heal. It's up to a lot of factors. Um, so if you have any questions, always ask your doctor. Okay, so um, I had my surgery June 20th. Um, so we're pretty much in the 10-day mark right about now. Um, the first week was a little rough for me um, because I was still getting used to intaking um, fluids and you know I didn't try solids I was afraid but the soft food I was throwing up um, but within the last couple of days it has improved a lot more um, I'm still a little nauseous which is pretty normal with GP um, but it's not as severe as it was before this this is tolerable um, I can it doesn't really it bothers me sometimes some days it does some days it doesn't um, I'm intaking more fluids now. Um, before I was only taking sips last week, I'm actually drinking eight ounces. Sometimes eight ounces at a time, twice a day, or you know, sometimes more. It depends on how my stomach is feeling. Um, I have progressed to soft foods. So now I am eating eggs. I'm actually tolerating eggs really well, which before I was throwing them up. Um, I can eat small, when I say very small amounts of bread or crackers, um, that still just helps me out a little bit. Um, last night for dinner, I ate rice, um, a very small portion, you know, portions still have to stay small, um, but it stayed down. Now, let me give a little bit of an explanation. The pacemaker has only taken, taken away my nausea and my vomiting, Okay. Um, it does not take away the bloating, the pain, um, none of that. I still suffer. I still have it. Um, so if I eat too much or the wrong food, I'm not getting nauseous, but I'm in a lot of pain. Um, my stomach blows up and it makes me look like I'm nine months pregnant. Um, and I'm already chubby, so that's not a good look. Um, so... You know, I didn't want anybody to be under the understanding that, oh, I got the pacemaker and my GP symptoms just all went away. No, my nausea is much better. I would say 80 percent better. Um, vomiting has stopped. I have not thrown up um, actually since Sunday when I went to the beach. I threw up a lot and I it was just a lot of factors that day. I was not feeling well. Um, but the pain and the bloating, I still have it. Okay, so I, one of the questions that I was asked was, how is the pace? How is the pain with the pacemaker? Um, I have a very high tolerance for pain, just me. Um, so I have not needed any pain medication um, since the first day. I do feel some tingling. I can't really explain if it's shock. I can't explain if it's burning, but it's like tingling underneath the pacemaker. Now. When I spoke to my doctor, she said it could be healing. Um, that's what's causing that. If I feel any worse, for me to go into the doctor. I haven't felt any worse. It's just slight tingling. It's just whatever. Um, it's healing really fine. I'm going to show you my incision right now of how it looks 10 days after. Um, please excuse. I'm still really kind of swollen. Um, so please, no judgments or criticisms on my belly because I'm actually trying to be real here. Um, but this is the incision. Um, as you guys can tell, I still have the glue. There's no longer no bruising. Um, just a little bit, but there's really no bruising. The glue is still holding it together um, 10 days later. Um, she said it'll fall out by itself, so I'm not um, stripping it. I'm not peeling it. I'm not touching it unless it needs to be washed. Um, 
I am still, I am able to use the bathroom. I'm still constipated for a few days at a time um, because I'm still not intaking a lot. So hopefully that will change over time. Um, but overall, I'm going to be honest, I feel really good. Um, aside from the regular GP stuff. I'm feeling really good. I feel like I got color back in my face. I feel like I'm tolerating liquids better. Um, I'm actually progressing into soft foods, which is awesome because I got so tired of just drinking stuff. Um, you know, I'm trying to expand my list, but um, I was told to take like one food a week to try. So, so far, um, I'm eating pureed ban banana baby food, baby dessert. Um, I try to eat eggs every morning, at least one or two, because that's really all I can eat. Um, like last night, I said I ate rice. Um, today, I'm going to try to put chicken in my rice and see how that goes. You know, if it doesn't go so well, then I will not do it again. Um, but it's all in taking risk and figuring out what's best for your body. Um, another question I was asked, um, does it cause pain when I lay on it? I do not lay on my pacemaker I do not sleep on my stomach any longer um, it's not because it's it's mostly because I'm still healing um, and if I twist a certain way it still hurts um, but I'm a little afraid to sleep on my belly right now so maybe in a couple of weeks or after I see the doctor maybe I can ask her then if I can sleep on my belly but as of right now um, no, I'm not sleeping on my belly. I'm not trying to put pressure on the pacemaker or my stomach at all. So I'm sleeping on my back or on my side, tilted a little bit, not completely on my side. Um, another question that I was asked um, was how, from a level of 1 to 10, what is my nausea? My nausea is a 2, maybe. Maybe. You know, sometimes it's a two, sometimes a three. Um, it depends on the day and how much I eat. Okay. So I don't want anybody to be under the impression that they're going to automatically get healed when they get this pacemaker. It's not the case. But to be honest, it is an, um, it is a great asset to have to help you with GP. If your you know, if your doctor recommends it, I would suggest trying it, making sure you're researching it, making sure you're a hundred percent that you want it. Unfortunately for me, it was an emergency thing and I had no choice. I had to take it. Um, but it's a choice that I'm glad they made for me because I'm sitting here doing this video with you. Um, you know, on top of GP, I'm a diabetic, so I need to be able to eat something to control my sugars. Um, so the fact that I'm able to eat something, even little things, is making me extremely happy. Um, I still have really bad flare-ups. My belly still swells up really bad. I'm still bloated really bad. Um, maybe over time, those are things that'll change. Maybe when they adjust the pacemaker, those are things that'll change. But as of right now, they're not. Um, just the nausea and the vomiting has been controlled. Um, and that's really it, honestly. Um, other than that, you know, just make sure you, if you feel any pain, um, around the incision or the stimulator, um, if you see anything oozing from the stimulator incision, um, or you just are not getting better because after surgery, you're supposed to get better. If you're not getting any better, make sure you call your doctor, make sure you let them know what's going on. Make sure you keep them up to date, um, whether you feel they care or not, because this is important. Something could be going on. This is a foreign object that was put in your body. Your body may be rejecting it. Um, you don't want any of these things to happen. You don't want to get an infection. These are just things that you need to make sure to look out for. Um, so that's it. I mean, if anybody else has any questions about the pacemaker and how I'm feeling through, you know, throughout the weeks or whatever um just hit me up here um comment below or if you're on my facebook message me i'm willing to answer whatever i'm gonna be honest about it um this is not a miracle cure you know i do have a machine in my in my body now um but it's helping me and honestly i'm very appreciative of it um i'm very grateful that it was done i'm very grateful that it saved it pretty much saved my life at that moment um so I hope everybody has a good day and I hope I answered as many questions as I was sent um, correctly or the way that, you know, I could. Um, if anybody else has any questions, just ask me. All right. Bye.